let's get our needle threaded up ahead of time. Hi, I'm Milesy, and this is another Tuesday tip. Today we're going to talk about railroading, and that doesn't have anything to do with trains. This is a technique that you use to keep your stitches all laying flat and even, and making sure that the thread doesn't get all twisted up and nasty on itself. So, we'll come down here to the 14 count fabric that I have, and we're just going to do some very quick stitches. There we go. And we're only using two strands just to make it a little bit easier. So we can do our strands and they go really quick. We're not really paying any attention to how they lay down and sometimes that's perfectly fine. If you make sure that your thread doesn't twist up on itself, you can actually get your stitches looking pretty even and nice and not really have to worry about it too much. But sometimes that doesn't always work, especially when it's catching on the edge of the fabric every single time and being annoying, but hey, that's cool. Whatever, right? So there we have four, st uh, four little stitches. And we're just kind of sitting there doing their best to cover up on the fabric, but if we go through here, we can actually make them look a little bit nicer. So we'll come up from here, same way we've been doing. And now what we want to do is take these two strands right here there we go. Separate them out and we want to put the needle through the two strands. And I don't know how well you can see that, so let's separate them this way. And what this will do is force the strands to actually lay down right next to one another as if they were a railroad track. Because railroad tracks have to be completely straight and even and parallel or else it's bad news for everybody. So I'll separate this out so that you can see that we're going in between those two strands and it's going to come down and force it to lay down. And this is going to take a little bit of extra time at first just to make sure that your needle is going in between the two strands. But after a while, you'll start to get used to it and you'll be just as quick as you were before. There we go. And we can see even here with two strands on 14 count, by railroading the stitches, it's making them lay flatter and we're getting a little bit better coverage with it. If we can go in here. I'm not very good at it. I don't use it all that much because I tend to use tent stitch anyway. Uh, you can railroad with tent stitch, absolutely. But because I'm using four and six strands half the time, it just, winds up being kind of a nightmare. And at that point you need a laying tool. Now, if you are using multiple strands, railroading can be really difficult, but you can still use something called a laying tool to make sure that everything sits flat and even and looks really nice. And you can go out and buy something that calls itself a laying tool. Usually they can be pretty expensive, especially if they're really nice. Or if you're super cheap like me, just go to your local craft store and get yourself a big old upholstery needle because you can use this for multiple things. I also use these for when I'm framing my work on hoops, which you've seen before, and they're just nice to have around. So we're going to come here and we'll do the first stitch like we normally do. And that first uh, half doesn't really matter too much because it is going to get covered up. But now when we have to the second half of this stitch, what we want to do is Put, the th put all of the threads over our laying tool, or in this case, our big enormous needle. And we're just going to use this to hold all of the strands tight and keep a lot of tension in between them so they don't want to fall over themselves. And we can do it on the bo bottom half as well. So we come in, use this to keep the tension on the strings or on the strands. And there we go. We can see that they're all right next to one another. They don't have the room to fall over one another. And down they go, nice and perfect and even and straight. And this is kind of like railroading. And we have now nice 
really nice full coverage here. We are using full strand, four strands, but they are laying very close to one another, just like that. But that's just a really quick little guide to railroading and laying tools. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more comments or questions, please put them down below because I love to see them and if I can, I will answer them for you. But that's it for today. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you would like to support future videos and get some neat stuff in return, please head over to my Patreon page. Your support means a lot to me and goes a long way. If you're not in a position to donate, consider sharing this video with your friends to help this channel grow. Otherwise, please enjoy this goat.